What's good teachers? Today I'm gonna to share a tip that's gonna take your Zoom lessons to the next level. Are you ready? Let's go. Um. Okay, so this feature has been around for a while, but I had just, I never used it. So I teach digital photography virtually and it's super challenging trying to teach these kids how to use Photoshop through a computer. As it is, I'm sure, to teach whatever subject you're teaching, I can't even imagine. So I was trying to teach my kids how to create a new layer in Photoshop. And the button that you push is way down in the bottom corner. And a lot of my kids couldn't see what I was doing because there's, you know, they're working on school Chromebooks that are 11 inch screens. And remember, 11 inches is not 11 inches, it's 11 inches. That's how they measure screens. So uh, for my screen, you know, I'm dealing with a big giant screen, but they're dealing with these little small screens. So whenever I went to emphasize a point on the screen, they couldn't see what it said or, um, or what I was doing, right? And you might be experiencing the same thing too. If you're dealing with math and you want to show a certain part of your formula or um, if you're dealing with text and you wanted to you know read text together how do you do that through zoom sometimes resolution and bandwidth you know those are issues right this is the answer to your problem all you have to do is share a region of your screen instead of the entire thing or just your browser window so ordinarily when you're on a zoom if you're like me, you click on share screen and then you look for the browser window or whatever you're trying to share. So let's say I'm right here and let's say I'm talking about this, um, this story on Newzella about a student scientist. If we went down here and I tried to read this part with my kids, it's just way too small. You have to remember that your kids are working on screens that are this big. This is what it looks like for them. So not too bad, right? But not ideal. There's a better way to do it. So next time, go into share screen, click on advanced, and then just portion of your screen. And this opens up a green box that turns orange when you move it around. And if you look at what the kids are seeing, it looks pretty similar, right? But watch what happens when I take the corner now look what the kids see. Come on, you guys. That is way better. It takes a little getting used to, but once you get it, it is magical. It's also a really big time saver for me because now I don't have to unshare a screen and reshare it. Like if I have a video queued up that I want to watch, um, I could just move this box over to wherever I want them to view it. And so let me show you what, what that looks like for the kids. Okay, let's say that I'm working on this article and then I want to share this one over here. I'm just going to take the share portion, move it over here, and then look what happens to their view. It just magically moves over, you guys. And then if you grab the corner and you move it to wherever you want, you can focus on exactly the part of the screen that you want them to see. Another great thing about using this method is if you're on a website that has ads on the side, you can crop those out easily just by sharing a portion of your screen. So ordinarily the kids would see this where they have um, ads over here on the right side. But using this share method, all you have to do is click and drag the screen over, let go, and now look what they see. Ta da! <laughs> Come on, you guys, that is magical. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have been just sharing my desktop or my, um, you know, portion of my screen and not really taking into consideration the user experience for the kids. And, you know, I knew that at, 
I, there were times when they were like, Mr. Ann, I can't see it, or it's blurry, or you know, something like that. But this can uh, this can solve a lot of that for your kids. It's a great, it's a way better experience for the kids because they know exactly what you're focusing on. And for you, I don't know, like if you're working on letter sounds or something and you want just a portion of your screen to be seen and but you want to be able to easily move it and manipulate it and enlarge and change the shape and this this is the way to do it you guys so if you've been using this already you clearly are way better than me cuz I <laughs> because I was trying to figure out a way to do this for a few days now. Sorry, if you are in Google Meet, I don't know, I don't have a fix for you yet. I'm trying to think of a way, but it's not. A, this is not an option that's in Google Meet right now. But there are other ways that we can attack this problem, okay? And I'll keep working on that for you. Just know that if you want a better experience for your kids, then give this a shot. Share a portion of your screen. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video and hit that little notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm Darren Akakihara, and that's your tech tip of the day. Have a good one.